So a friend of mine had a baby recently. Mm. Okay. And this is so weird. Uh, so my friend is the guy. Just so you know, my friend is the guy, and his he and his wife just had a baby. Okay. And he's been one of my closest friends for many, many, many years. So I know that there is this girl named Larissa that he has been in love with for many, many, many years, who was never interested in him. That was like his crush all through college, and then they reconnected for some reason, like after college when they were adults, but still nothing ever happened. He was still madly in love with her. And for years, he'll always like date a girl and compare her back to Larissa. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was always his thing. So he realizes like he and Larissa are just never going to be. She's not interested. So he moves on. He meets this other woman. They get married. They just have their first baby. It's a girl. No. And he named it Larissa. No. (laughs) He did. Does she know this? Well, I didn't know it until I got a baby announcement. And first I was confused. I was like, wait, he and Larissa had a baby? And then I was like, no, he named the baby Larissa. Uh, I, there's no way the wife knows about it. There's no way. Because I've, I've met this wife a bunch of times. She is not the kind of woman that this would be okay with her. Mm-hmm. She, she doesn't need, and I tell, I guarantee you she doesn't know anything about his love for this other woman. Like, that that would be a, a deal breaker for her. Oh. I know. I know. And I hate that I know this. And, like, uh, like, two of his friends, aside from me, like, three of us know this. So it's like a kind of a private joke that just a few of us have. It's a cool name. Larissa is a cool name. Beautiful name. But Beautiful the day name. that she says, the day she says, Daddy, why did you come up with my name? No. Oh. You know, then what does he say? Well, I was in love with a woman who rejected me. It was an unrequited love situation. And happened and to be named. The, yeah, yeah, exactly. I gave you that name because it's the only way I can have her in my life somehow. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> what? So what happens when the wife finds out? That's not going to end well. Yeah, I don't know how the wife would find out. Me and his two other friends, we know him from way back in the day. We barely know the wife. Like, I've literally met her maybe three times at the most, Mm -hmm. perhaps. You know, I always had a good relationship with her. Didn't have any, it wasn't like, but it was like I met her in an environment where it was like a party or we were all at a wedding together or something like that. Like, I've never done anything alone with her. There's no scenario that I would say, so let me tell you about Larissa. Right. So it's, you know, it's a secret I would I will take to my grave. It's not it's not it's not my news to tell. But he never brought up Larissa to her ever. No, because it wasn't an ex-girlfriend. It was an unrequited love. It was somebody that he was always in love with. From like a young reject, age, always from a young age, and rejected him. And I think, I think they hooked up once, like after college, kind of thing, like one drunken night or whatever. Mm-hmm. And and it was bad because he was even more in love with her, and she was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I was drunk." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like she she made a big mistake. She just she was sort of trying him on for size because she knew that he had been in love with her for so long, and she was like, "Maybe this could work." And then very quickly was like, yeah, no, that was a mistake. So it's like so, me naming my daughter Margot. Yeah, it's like if Margot Robbie was the name of your new pet or daughter. <laughs> I'm going to get a fish named Margot Robbie. <laughs> Margot Robbie. <laughs> you should get three fish. Jennifer Aniston, Margot Robbie, and Mila Kunis. Oh. Those would be three fish. I'll be back. <laughs> now I have to go, to go buy store. fish. <laughs> <laughs> Into the pet shop. <laughs> oh, that would be great. I would have to buy goldfish because they have to live forever. I, I can't deal with the death of Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> you imagine you'd be like, Jennifer Aniston died today. Uh, I had oh to my flush God, her down the yeah, toilet. Yeah, I had to flush her down the toilet. But yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm buying three fish now. <laughs>